welcome back to a very special episode of Shiny Sprites. We've got a very special guest with us here today. His, His name's Wally, and he's been battling cancer for the last two days. So let's give him a big round of applause. And make sure you don't poke fun at his cleft lip, because he's really sensitive about it, and he has cancer. And we have to battle him. But you're going to go easy on him. Look at him. Ugh. Poor, he even is... Wally. Look at him. He's like a shade paler than I am. And he only has one Pokemon. Get it, Ralt. Oh, he's got this weird mushroom thing. Oh. Mr. Femmel. Don't pop a zit on him, please. He did the zip pop. Oh, no. I know, right? You seeded him. What? That could be good for his cleft lip. He's trying to he's trying to evade me, but I got him with the leech seed, so he's gonna die, no matter what. Oh, you're letting him win a little bit, see? Oh no, you're not. I looked at it backwards. Oh no, I paralyzed. Him. <laughs> oh no. Are you just trying to show Wally what's gonna happen to him in the next couple of months? Oh my god, that's the darkest joke ever because he's bleeding him out and he's paralyzed. <laughs> you made me use the wrong move because I was so fucking like... Oh no. Oh no. I feel so bad. Okay. I don't feel bad anymore. It's just another Pokemon fight. I'm over that. Take him down, Mr. Femmel. Get all serious about it. Okay. Enough. Destroy him. Yeah, I think you've teased this poor child enough. I think it. I think it has like a. <laughs> Since I had a real Pokemon battle, I'm starting to feel better. Oh no, he's gonna cry, and he needs all the water he can retain. <laughs> See, he's crying. Oh no. Oh no. I lost. Here, take thousands of dollars from me that I needed for chemo. Uncle, I won't- I'll go back to Verdant Turf. Ab City, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not enough just to have Pokemon and make them battle. That isn't what being a real trainer is all about. Wally, there's no need to be so down on yourself. That's why you keep becoming stronger and stronger. Come on, let's go home. Everyone's Well, that's typically you. what would happen, but not in your case. Ab City, it just dawned on me. You must be a trainer that kept an eye out for Wally when he got caught. It's Pokemon. Why don't you visit us in Verdant Turf Town? That was the kid that he taught to catch a Pokemon earlier in the game. Oh. He's like, thanks for, thanks for, thanks for battling my kid. He's, I'd like to think the uncle's the one who paid me. Like, thanks for battling my kid. Well, yeah, a cancer kid doesn't carry a thousand dollars. Nine hundred and sixty poke dollars. That's what a real, oh yeah, this guy, he's like, I'll be cheering for you. And he's always following you around. Giving you some kind of jive advice. Excuse me? Yeah, he's like, his name's Scott, and he fucking walks around, and he's like, Hey, I saw you doing that cool thing. Here you go. Yeah, you're pretty cool. I was gonna say nothing good comes out of the mouth of the name of Scott, except that there was Statue Scott. Yeah. That guy was fucking badass. Statue Scott was the best. In fact, in, in honor of Statue Scott, Statue Scott will now be that Scott's voice. What? Do it. Oh, well, prick. the next time. Next time. <laughs> the next time Scott's on screen. <laughs> What's a double battle? Okay, Professor Bitch and Mr. What's a double battle? You're supposed to be teaching me. Yeah. I'm. Watch. Double battle. Two trainers on either side are gonna fight me now. I forgot everything you just said. Two trainers on either side of me are gonna fight me. But See? So I have to fight. You're speaking Chinese. To fight. Flee again. Why are the balls all spread out? Because the two are hers and two are his. Why don't they just have two rows? Because this is the Game Boy Advance. Don't don't ask me. It's the Game Boy Advance. I don't know. Oh look, it's Garlic Face, Garlic Monkey, and Lightning Dog. You mud shot the Electrike. You should be able to kill it. Man, we ain't playing around no more. First we gonna what? Then we gonna huh? Then we'll let it what? <laughs> I might die. I'm gonna kill- my plan is to kill you with laughter. It's very plausible. I can like barely breathe. 
That was my. This was my backup plan. Is this your twenty-year-long plan? Yeah. To kill me, recording. Yeah. With laughter. You might do it. I want to kill you. With, I want to hear you laughing as you die. <laughs> James, twenty fifteen. Maybe you're the Joker. Maybe maybe I'm the Joker. Yeah. The jokes. <laughs> what did the joke? What did the Joker say? The j serious is on you. Why so? <clears throat> Tommy why so? You saw the room, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, we saw the you saw the abridged version of the room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I did. It was awful. Oh man, I that movie is fantastically terrible. Yeah, I mean the, all the stupid video critics or whatever are just like, oh it's so bad, blah blah blah. Nah, I mean it's kinda of funny. <laughs> you can't dog on it too hard. Yeah, it's it's fantastically terrible. Like, but they didn't say anything good about it. They were just like, oh, it's the worst thing ever. Man, fucking get a sense of humor. <laughs> Whoa, get a sense of humor, brobit. Everything's funny if you think about it. Including my face. At night I sit on the darkest tower staring at the moon. That's not an actual song. That was just me, like, imagining... I thought that was Hunchback. I know, I was imagining that I was the Hunchback <laughs> in that fucking song. You should just rewrite your own version of Hunchback. Except it's about me. And, like, gargoyle dicks. What? I don't know. Me. Except it's like you and a bunch of gargoyle dicks. That'd be funny. Why are they just beating up Mr. Femmel, man? Oh, he's confused. Don't do it, Mr. Femmel. Confusion's the worst status effect, because this happens. Don't hurt yourself in confusion, you dumbass. Water gun it again. Poo! Oh, God! <laughs> That's what hurts them, by the way. Bubbles? You're, no, you're like... Poo! And you shoot like a little blast of water. Yeah, that would hurt. Water hurts. I guess they're shooting it really hard. You know, if you fall out of a plane, uh, you don't want to aim for water, you want to aim for land. Because the surface tension, if you hit water at terminal velocity, it's like concrete. If you hit land, it breaks away. So you're more likely to survive if you hit land. Just a fun fact, if you ever find yourself falling out of plane. I was going to say, isn't the other thing you're supposed to do is angle your body? You're supposed you to angle to. your body, yeah. You don't want to hit straight down, and you never want to hit water. I don't even think you need to be going terminal velocity. It's just that water sticks together so tight when it's, like, hit. Have you mm -hmm. ever punched a body of water? It's hard, isn't it? Like, it doesn't break away. Oh, yeah, it feels really weird, too. It has, like, a crack when you punch it. But if you hit, like dirt and earth it usually gives way like your hand doesn't bounce off and I usually don't really punch the dirt and earth very often so oh I mean I don't either just, just a fun fact ow that didn't do a whole lot of damage because you're a normal type Pokemon and you shouldn't be using electric type moves Mr. Femmel is gonna Mr. Femmel pop the zits now it's time to fucking drain ya have that. You headbutted me. I'll drink. <laughs> and then I just throw the husk of the Zigzagoon back. That would be great. Like a dark Pokemon. Uh, I don't know why you doing that reminded me of those old orange juice commercials where they stick a big straw into an orange. Yeah, and they just like drink around. orange juice out of it. Yeah. And I was, I, as a kid, I was always like, man, I wish I could do that. I think they had those. Like the little boxes or whatever. The they're shaped like an orange. I never saw those. I'm pretty sure I saw them. That'd be awesome if you did. Or you could just, you know, peel a fucking orange and not be a savage. <laughs> I want to be a Fred Savage. Me too. He directs a lot of shit. What has he directed? He's done a lot of, uh, It's Always Sunny. He did... I love that show. I'm pretty show. sure he directed some Curb Your Enthusiasm. And he got, he has his own show now. Oh fuck, Gulpin. That's a poison type. He's been all over the damn place. He's a TV whore. I hope it doesn't use it. Look, that's a gulpin, Patrick. That's a Pokemon you haven't seen yet. They eat. Oh shit, liquid ooze. <coughs> I can't leech seed it. So it kills me. You sucked up that liquid ooze, eh? I yeah. Bet you did James? I bet you did. Well, because its its status effect is that it since it's a poison type, um, 
when you use any draining effects on it, you drain poison into you. So you get liquid oozed. Watch. They take that from Power Rangers? <laughs> what, liquid ooze? Yeah. No! It's poison, it makes sense. It's like, oh, I'm draining poison. Oh, it's poisonous. Ugh, it sucks. Yeah, that was the plot to the Power Rangers movie. No, Ivan Ooze was some poisonous. He was. He was just like an ooze guy. Oh, yeah, he paid prostitutes to blow him and they all ended up dying. Their <laughs> jaws melted because of his purple ooze. <laughs> Where did these scenarios come from? Just what I remember. That's not at all how the movie well, went. I need to watch it again, apparently. <laughs> what? Leave a comment if you know what movie he's talking about, because I don't fucking know. Oh, it's an Elamise. I like that guy. Catch that guy. That's a girl. That's a girl. Whatever. Catch it. It's an Elamise. What is Voltorb? Vol a asexual? Voltorb, yeah. Voltorb has no gen- Voltorbs and Magnemites have no genders. So do all the Tumblerinas pick Voltorb? <laughs> I just caught what you said. I fucking ate it. <laughs> the fucking worst. The curse worst, man. You know what that's from? Fucking recess. I say it- Oh, look, Cicada. He leveled up. How cool. you doing, Cicada? Get out of here. <laughs> He sent out a Magnemite. Nyeh. Oh, do you, dude? Magnemite's doing the fucking coolest fucking shit I've ever seen. And long periods of pausing between talking and. What pausing? There's like a, there was like a, <clears throat> there was like a brief pause. You're a brief pause. I have a brief menopause. Do you? Yeah, I can see that. Every once in a while, I just have it. Mm -hmm. That's a thing, actually. What? Dudes have a period. Ew. There's no secretions or anything, but there's just a heightened emotional status for like a week. Didn't know that. Yeah. The more you know. The more you. Ow. Slap the shit out of you. <laughs> you did. Didn't feel good. Good thing no one knows where we are. They're never gonna find the body. Maybe one day mm -hmm. in my dreams. <laughs> They are never gonna find the body. Tackle the shit out of that fucking bug. I've seen every episode of Dexter. You're fucking screwed. I've seen every episode of Unsolved Mysteries. You're even more screwed. <laughs> shit. Fuck. I outrank. I outrank Dexter. Is That's... that the guy whose son was kidnapped? Then they never found him. So then he started the show to like raise awareness and shit. Yeah, that's a sad story. Yeah. Cicada. Oh, it's the boy. It's Volbeat. Gross. Oh, oh, because it's a boy, it's gross. No, I just like the purple one. I think they're electric. I'm not sure. I should try shooting a water gun at it and see if it's effective. That was enough. just a drop of water. It wasn't a gun. What? Have you ever shot a water gun? It's not just one big blob of water. That's it's stream. <laughs> That's how he does it, though. <laughs> <laughs> And he like shoots one big blaster. That's not a gun. That's his bubble. That's his bubble blaster. Blastoise has got a fucking water gun. Blastoise is a, the Pokemon that I that I did not pick. Everybody who watched our Oracle of Seasons playthrough knows that I started with Venusaur originally. Mm, that's ballsy. I well, you know why I did it? Because as a kid, I was a fucking ultra hipster. Okay. I was like. Everyone's gonna pick Charizard and Blastoise, so I'll pick Venusaur. I would probably pick Venusaur over Charizard, but my number one is Blastoise. Because turtles are cool, cannons are cool. Turtles are cool, cannons are cool. Put them together, you got a Blastoise. Unplugged and turned off. Man, Flea is all over the place. Alright, we gotta leave. Because we gotta go heal up our dudes. And then we're gonna come back. And I'm gonna fight. I believe is I believe the gym leader's name is Watson. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. And he's a happy old man. Oh yeah. What are you getting so dangerously close to me for? <laughs> it's fun. No, oh, get away. Because next time I want you to be sick. <laughs> no. Yeah. I was sick a little bit. I told you That's it wasn't not a sick. lie. That wasn't real sick. It was. You need real sick. No, listen to my voice. I haven't had a flu shot for 15 years. Is that bad? Uh, 
I'm so sick. Uh, listen to me. Uh, listen how sick I am. I could never, I could never do another episode of Shiny Sprites where I take down Watson. Look at him. He's look at his Santa beard. Bye.